During the Middle Ages, the feast was a time for social gatherings, a time for eating, dancing, showing off the latest fashions, and a time for making new and renewing old friendships. Lords and ladies spent time retelling stories of combat over a splendid array of food. Today, the members of the Society for Creative Anachronism recreate the food and splendor of that period. Feasting is an integral part of the social aspects of the society. And uh, although there are other activities, fighting and dancing and brewing and a number of arts and crafts, feasts is where it all comes together, where everyone displays the wonder and, of their creativity for the pleasure of their fellows. <laughs> Why I like to cook medieval feasts and why people enjoy the medieval feasts is the camaraderie, the friendship, and the different foods that you'll be served at a feast. Uh, it, it differs a great deal from everyday fare. for the SCA it would have to be the feasting. Uh, everybody gets together and putting on their best clothes, having a good time and socializing. This feast you'll see a royal event. Uh, people having a good time, uh, eating, feasting, uh, there's probably entertainment, dancing. You'll see uh, a contest for the best bardic presentation, which is story, poem, song, or sonnet, whatever anybody decides to enter. Well, my favorite activities in the SCA, I think, would have to be uh, flirting and dancing and creating poetry for and about the people around me. Oh, a million things happen at a feast. Uh, everyone gets together, sits down, eats usually four or five removes, which are similar to courses. Uh, there's a lot of uh, visitation. Everyone walks around and visits with all the people they know and gorges themselves and uh, generally has a lot of fun. Yeah. 